Good day, Warhawks. It's time for News at Noon for Thursday, October 14th, 2021 with Dixie Tyler and Alex Peters. Today's news is brought to you by the Warhawk Watch. Friday, they will begin their Save the Boobies campaign to raise awareness for breast cancer and the plight of beads worldwide. Together, we can make a difference. You can purchase a booby in, uh, in honor of your loved ones for 50 cents that will be displayed on the bulletin board at the front of the school. That money, as well as any donation that you would like to give, will be passed on to our local Dale County Roulette for Life. Uh, ask a member of Warhawk Watch staff to purchase one. Parents and alumni can purchase bees in, from the front office. ACT Work Keys has been moved to next Tuesday, so most seniors don't have an excuse to miss the bands of one one through during seventh period. Tonight, there will be a football game away at Northside Methodist in Dothan. The game will take place in the city of Dothan's field. T t tickets are only available through GoFan, so make arrangements accordingly. Volleyball will travel to their area tournament tonight as well. Good luck to our senior ladies as the, in their final high school volleyball tournament. They are Candace Buckhalter, Gabby Wilson, and Mariah Thomas. School will still be in session on Friday, so make sure you are present. Tri uh, Music Honor Society will meet Friday during homeroom to vote for officers and make preparations for induction. Teachers, a list of participating students will be sent to your email. Girls basketball tryouts are ongoing this week. The Lady Hawks want to see you play for the glory of the Hawk. See Coach Waller for details. Boys basketball tryouts are also go ongoing. The boys field three different basketball teams, so there is absolutely a place for you. See Coach Jones for details. Next week begins free college application week. Students will be working with the guidance department to complete applications and submit them for free. ESCC will be on campus on Wednesday to assist you in completing your FAFSA. Seniors, talk with your parents and get ready. Get your tax info ready. Parents, Ms. Virgil and the guidance department have set up a parent night for students com uh, completing the federal application for student aid. This, uh, the event will take place Tuesday night, the 19th of October. They request that you sign up for a time so the event can be as efficient as possible. We have posted a QR code to remind Facebook and school site. Anyone confused on how to use that QR code can call Ms. Woodham in the uh, front office for assistance. The event is free. We recommend that you bring your social security uh, number and tax information. Teachers are encouraged to display their favorite colleges and universities right on the door for free college application week. The winning teacher with the most creative door gets a shirt. Doors will be judged next Friday by semi-celebrity judge. FFA is still accepting new members. Membership costs $12. They already are planning the yearly trip to uh, Moultrie. You might want to get a uh, you might want to get your membership fee fast so you don't get left out here at school. Current members of the Quillen School Society will meet next Wednesday to vote for officers and create a year-long plan. That meeting will take place during homeroom in the annex. A list of students will be sent out next week. Jazz band tryouts for any students, even if you're not in band, are on Tuesday. That group meets after school every Tuesday and visits jazz festivals around the southeast. See Helena or Mr. Nichols for more information. The band before Christmas is making their list of players and checking it twice. Current director Gabrielle Scott is your contact person. She is looking for some great musicians with solid memory to participate in this year's carol this band this Participate in the band's yearly caroling experience. The School of Rock is currently looking for musicians who know how to play the guitar uh, and bass and keyboard. We currently have three members, so if you are interested, come see Dixie Tyler or Austin Horn for more information. Next Thursday will be a half day for students and a conference day for parents. The nine weeks ends the 21st as well, so make sure you check your grades in power school. Senior night for students participating in football season activities will be next Thursday night, the 21st. This will include senior cheerleaders, senior football players, senior band members, and senior members of the JROTC color presentation team and PT team. Forms will be available from the front office beginning Monday. Next Thursday, the JV basketball team will play Dothan Prep at home at 4.30. They will also attend the Southdale basketball tournament on Saturday, the 23rd. Red Ribbon Week begins the 25th. Look out for more details. Fall pictures are scheduled October 26th. These are the pictures that you will see in the yearbook. Andy and the yearbook editorial staff wants you to know that the 2021 and 2022 yearbook is now available through purchase uh, for 
$45 through their online portal. A link is available on the school website. The yearbook will contain students from 9th through 12th grade. There are a lot of pages uh, of pictures of you. Buy one before they run out. Friends and families of the current student can give the gift of memories by purchasing a yearbook for their most treasured or with that for their most cherished one for <laughs> Christmas. The link we have posted is open to anyone for purchase. You can actually print out the page where you have purchased the yearbook and put it in your in the card. Remember, yearbooks come back the following year because we include graduation. Students interested in making a submission for the National Peanut Festival should go see Mrs. Robertson. She can help you figure out what you might be interested in. Tomorrow's breakfast is breakfast bites, pear halves, assorted juice, and milk. Tomorrow's lunch is grab and go, ham and cheese, carrots, branch, fresh root, lays, regular chips, banana, and milk. Weather for today is a high of 86 and a low of 65. Weather for tomorrow is a high of 87 and a low of 62. That's all for today. Go, go Warhawks! Warhawks. Thank you.